What's up folks, welcome back to another video. This is an entire series on how to build an entire merch stack application. If this is your first time on this channel, this is where we help you become a full stack developer. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and we'll be right with you after the pause. In this entire series, we show you guys how to connect your MongoDB Atlas to your Heroku and you are pulling data from MongoDB Atlas. So definitely check that out. Now, in this particular video, we're going to focus more into how we can automatically deploy things to Heroku whenever something got merged into our master. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to GitHub slash new in order for me to create a new repo. And I'm going to give this one Merns stack demo presentation something very very basic and i'm gonna give this a description like uh, this is a demo and then i'm gonna click create so once i have that i'm gonna copy this link again the goal is you need to be able to push your code to your repo whatever things that you are using for my case i'm gonna copy this link go back inside my terminal i'm gonna do this i'm gonna add git remote add origin and I'm gonna paste that link in there so that I will be adding that origin for me. To verify this being added, I'm gonna do git remote dash v. Then if I see this origin, that means everything was successfully added. All I need to do now is git push origin master and that's gonna go ahead and push my code to the master branch. Now, if I go here and refresh this page, my code is now is in the master branch, which is fantastic, which is great. But how can we configure this in order to connect Heroku and GitHub together. Well, in order to do this, I'm going to go inside Heroku, wherever you have your application, search it and click on it. And I'm going to go on the deploy and wherever it said deployment method, I'm going to click on GitHub. And whenever you click on GitHub, it will ask you to authenticate. I already authenticate myself. So that's why this pop up. But for your case, it will ask you to authenticate. And then you search for your repo name. In my case, this is my repo name. I'm going to copy this one and search for it right here and click search and there you go it brings that repo and all you need to do now is click connect and ladies and gentlemen this is now connected once this is connected i'm going to scroll down and click on wherever it said enable automatic deployment which means every single time that something got merged into the master bridge then this is what's going to automatically uh, automatically deploy this to the master branch now check this out right let's assume that you had a different branch maybe you didn't want to deploy the master branch you wanted to deploy a different branch for testing purposes you can select that branch here and deploy that one as well which is really really cool all right so once we have that automatically deployment enable let's assume that we have this application we wanted to change this to something like oh, welcome to my best app ever something like that right so we change this to something like welcome to the best application ever so i'm gonna go here and add everything and i'm gonna change app title and then i'm gonna push this one to origin master to the or to the master branch so if i go here we go to github refresh that you can see i have the push 12 second ago but if i go back inside heroku and all the way into the activities and you can see here there is something there is a build that's been in process and what's happening is every single time that it does detect a change it is going to take whatever is in the master branch and automatically deploy it to your live application so once that's finished then we should automatically see the change being applied into our live application right here all right build finished so if i go back into the application and refresh this and there you go ladies and gentlemen this has automatically applied right here now again this is really really cool the fact that you can automatically deploy your master branch to the production environment now for those of you that are new into the tech industry this is actually something that's pretty pretty big into the professional environment. And what that means is uh, we want to be able to do something called CI CD. Again, if you don't know what that is, let me give you guys an idea what this is. So CI CD stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery, which means every single time that your stuff got merged, they want it out as soon as possible. Now, of course, there's more into the CI CD pipeline. There is different stage as you go through that will run tests, that will run automation, that will run 
on a lot of things. The fact that you understand this process make you aware that going into the job field, this is something that you will be expected to fully have at least an understanding of. Thank you so much for watching this. So far, you've done really, really well. You made it through the end of this entire series. Thank you so much for watching this. I know this has been tough and really kudos to you for making it that through. If you really enjoyed this entire series, please share this video around and hope to see you into another series again. Thank you.